dynasty that lay dormant for decades rose again after the turn of the century. As Seska Moscow finished a string of Final Four appearances by claiming its first EuroLeague title in 35 years. We were a little bit of the underdog, and it was something incredible because I think nobody was putting, was betting one euro on us, especially after the injury during the regular season of David Anderson. So we made some adjustments, our players came together, they stepped up big in the, in the Final Four, and, and we did it. It was just incredible to see all the Cesca people, how happy they were. The final against Maccabi, it was great, the atmosphere. It was a tough game, but we dominated the game, and I think we managed to win our first title after a long year. Uh, a long time, and it's, it was a great feeling. Everybody was celebrating. Ah, but... It was the beginning of a new era for our team. Seska's new era continued two years later with another dominant Final Four victory, this time in Madrid. I still remember, uh, and all of my teammates, because we speak from time to time, a big speech of coach before the final about uh, Federer, the famous tennis player, and the way he motivated us. But the most important is that we were so good and team and we were so balanced that the most important was how the team will achieve their goal. So everybody was working like a part of a very good working machine. The Seska dynasty was back with another trophy raised to the sky.